Yeah, so I am Gagan Grover. I work as a software engineer in NVIDIA. I am doing cycling from last eight years. I'm a casual rider who has done a little bit cycling in India. So I've traveled to Pune Kanyakumari and then Pune Goa, Pune Mumbai a couple of times. And I've traveled to Paris Brush Paris for a PvP race on 2011. I stay, I'm the neighbor of uh, Divyanshu and we met around a year before or so. And on one of the casual night rides, Divyanshu told me about the Leh Ladakh cycling that he's planning. So we thought, okay, let's let's do this challenge. And so we have been practicing from last one month. Casual. He says casual. I like the word. <laughs> he does casual like Kanyakumari to Pune, uh, Pune to Kanyakumari in nine days. He does Paris Brest Passes, which is 1,200 kilometers in 90 hours. That's casual riding. Yes, that's right, Gagan. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how is a tandem cycle different from... Tandem, the difficult part is the length. I mean, it's very long. So we have to turn every, we have to take every turn like a bus. So you have to go from to the other side of the road and then take a long turn. So in the traffic areas, it is very difficult to take a turn. Otherwise, I am finding it also the, I am little bit, uh, he is more taller than me. And the tandem bikes are generally, the captain is more taller than the alien rider. So it is difficult for me to, to have a, correct size for, for us. How do you guys encourage and motivate each other? Yeah, yeah. we, we just keep, uh, uh, we have a good communication going. We know when the other person is doing well, not doing well. Um, so we do this as a team. So uh, it's, it's not really about one person. We have to see that we both are feeling good, uh, physically okay. Uh, and uh, that just, over time, we just know it non-verbally. We know when the other person is, where is the other person at. So there's a lot of non-verbal communication that happens um, and uh, we keep pushing each other to do better each time. Yeah, so we uh, raise goals, uh, we better our timing, uh, we do longer, tougher rides. I mean, the difficult part also, we have to synchronize the paddling. So we never communicate verbally. We always sense the paddling pressure that he is pushing or I am pushing or I am slowing down. So we both slow down together, we both push together. So that is the communication, or, 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 I mean, came automatically. We don't need to communicate verbally for 